just want to show off a program here that I made for mainly my wife, but the all the source code is up on GitHub and it is under an AGPL license. And uh, so I just wanted to quickly show you how it works. So basically, um, you go to the uh, main list, the index file of the program on your computer, your laptop or desktop, tablet or phone. Uh, should work on all of them as long as you have a modern browser. And it brings you to a list of all your recipes. They're all color coded uh, based on what type of meal they are. And you can search through them based on the title, the ingredients, and tags. So let's say I wanted to find some tacos. So I can type in taco and you can see my wife, uh, all these in recipes on here right now are recipes my wife has entered. It does show you that currently there are 36 recipes in the database. And you can see she has one for taco dip. Probably could change the color of either the font or the background for this particular uh, category of meal. Um, a little hard to read there. Uh, and then we got tacos here. And again, the colors are based on what category of meal they are placed under. So that's taco. Now let's say, again, you can search by ingredients or tags. So let's say, oh, you know what? I have a lot of beef at home. So let me type in beef. Oh, look, I got beef stroganoff, lasagna that uses uh, one pound of ground beef. That's good. So I'll click on that and you can see, you know, what it is, the prep time, if you've entered the prep time, cook time, and the total time, uh, how, how much it yields, a description ingredients, instructions, any comments you want. Here's a category, it's under dinner, that's what determines the color on the other page, which can easily be modified uh, based on the CSS of the application. Source, uh, here my wife wrote pasta box because she got it off a box of pasta, but there you can write, oh, I got this recipe from Sally, or you can put a URL if you got it offline. And then tags, uh, things that you may want to search for it by later. Now, uh, I can make changes, I can come in here, I can say blah, 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 whatever. Um, my husband really liked this, blah, blah, blah. Click Submit and it automatically updates it. Now, uh, if I hit F12 here to show you the console log and um, the network access here, I'll click Submit again. And you can see here it does an update, which updates the database, but there's also a backup that it runs. Every time you make a change to a recipe, it will attempt to back up the entire database to a JSON file. Here you can see that it was unable to open that file because uh, by default that's disabled. All you have to do is create a backups folder, a folder called backups, and make it writable and it will automatically start creating backup copies of your database. So in case you accidentally delete something or you just want to go back to a older version of uh, the recipes they're all backed up every time you make a change. Also, let's say you wanted to share this with a friend you can, or take the recipe somewhere, you can click print. It gives a printable version. You can print a PDF and email it to somebody or you can print up a physical copy. Also up here at the top, uh, contacts will bring you to my webpage currently. Uh, new recipe will obviously create a new recipe. So I can type in here salad, you know, or I can call it my salad and fill in the rest of the information, but I'll leave it blank for now. If I go back to home now and I type in salad, you can see right here, salad, it's gray. Whoops. It's uh, gray because uh, I didn't give it a category. If you don't give the meal a category, it automatically defaults to the color gray. And then, of course, projects page will bring you to the source code that I have up on GitHub so you can download this project yourself. And so if you go to github.com forward slash melex1000, look for the project called Cookbook. You can download this and get it up and running in no time. Uh, and also if you go to filmsbychris.com, select on code, you can click on GitHub and it will bring you to my GitHub page, at which point you can search through my repositories for the Cookbook app. So I thank you for watching this. Just wanted to share it in case you may be interested in using this. Uh, in the future, I may show a quick little setup on how you can get this up and running uh, pretty quick on a server you could use. Um, I'll probably do it on a Raspberry Pi just to show you how simple it is on a low cost device. But if you have any type of web server up already running and accessible, you should be good to go. Uh, and I thank you for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, comment and share and um, be sure to check out the source code if you're interested and as always I hope that you have a great day